Hi, it's Eric Paulson. Thanks for joining this week's Correspondents Corner. I began my week in Minnesota with an employee town hall meeting at Dow in Edina. Also attended a grand opening and spoke to about 480 employees at St. Jude Medical with their grand opening of their new facility in Plymouth. Great things happening with medical device opportunities in our state. In Washington, we had a Ways and Means Committee hearing with the new U.S. Trade Ambassador. We're going to get into our questions, though, and the first comes from Edina, from Maggie, who sent me a note. And she writes in regarding the topic of human trafficking. She says, Dear Representative Paulson, I've been reading about the increase in sex trafficking in the Twin Cities lately and was wondering if you've heard of this and if you're doing anything to combat it. Thank you, Maggie. You know, it's easy and it's comfortable to think that human trafficking and sex trafficking happen only in faraway places, in other countries or in other states. And the reality is, it's happening in Minnesota. Even conservative estimates estimate that maybe 213 girls a month are unfortunately participants or are trapped in a part of human trafficking or sex trafficking in our own state. That's tragic. That's unacceptable. And it is preventable. This week I introduced bipartisan legislation to combat sex trafficking. It will now require child welfare agencies to notify the proper authorities when children go missing. It will also make sure that we provide this information to the FBI. We can make sure we protect our most vulnerable with the proper time and attention. Also this week I received an email from Betsy in Bloomington. And she writes in saying, Thank you for signing on to the National Park Centennial Letter sent to President Obama. The letter showed the broad bipartisan support that the National Park Service needs to carry the nation's parks into their second century. In many cases, we plan once-in-a-lifetime family vacations, adventures, school trips, or educational experiences in national parks. I want to make sure future generations can continue to benefit and learn from them as well. Betsy. What Betsy is talking about is a letter that I sent to the president with many other elected officials encouraging him to have a special initiative commemorating the National Park Service's 100th birthday, our centennial, in 2016. Our national parks are one of our greatest natural resources. This week the National Parks Association gave me a special Friend of the National Parks Award for my work in protecting our national parks. I've also got a coin bill that will commemorate a special coin for our 100th birthday of our national parks as well with all the proceeds for that commemorative coin going to the National Parks Foundation. I want to encourage you to send in your thoughts, your questions, your ideas. You can reach out to me anytime, of course, on Facebook or Twitter, or you can reach me on the website at paulson.house.gov.